It took some time, but the dolly is finally here. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Staring at the sun, you know what that means. Today we've got four mods for you. For all platforms, we've got one new and one update. And for PC and Mac, we've got one new and one update. Let's check it out. First up today, we've got your one new mod for all platforms. This is the Semi Dolly 6000 by the BSM Trailer Black Sheep Modding. Oh yeah. Now, in Farming Simulator 17, this dolly was released with this tractor, or this trailer rather, along with a few other things as well. However, it has taken a little bit of time. Of course, with Black Sheep Modding being one of the best modders out there, I trust them. This right here has a base price of $18,000. Your color for the base price is going to cost you $1,000, and your rim color is going to cost you about $500. Now, we also have different versions of the wheels as well. There's one thing that I want to point out. Right here, we have the Lizard, just normal road tires on here, and they are kind of joined and melded. Not really sure what's going on there. I imagine we'll probably see an update to fix that here soon. But between now and then, let's jump in the store and check it out. Where are you going to find this? Of course, this is going to be found in tools. It's going to be found in dollies. And it's going to be the second dolly, the second modded dolly, rather, for $18,000. Let's click on it and check it out. So we start with a black onyx body, chrome, well, metal wheels, and then your lizard so you can see right there again, it's kind of melded together. As far as rim colors, we get the pewter and then we go straight into everything else. So there's no chrome on this. Design color, we start on onyx, but we do get two, three custom colors as a matter of fact. We get this color right here. We get a nice red color and we also get that pewter, that same look. We get that as well. But if we want to go in and change it up, let's say you want to do a John Deere color. So rim color, we'll change that to that. And then your main color, we'll go over here, change it to John Deere. You could do that if you want to. Let's reset. Down here in Wheel Brands, we have Lizard, we have Trailer Borg, and we have Michelin. In Lizard, again, we've got the normal tires that are kind of melded together. In Trailer Borg, we've got Standard and Wides. And in Michelin's, we have Standard and Wide tires as well there. Same options that you get with the trailer itself. So if we bump out here, these are our, our uh, Nokian, I believe? Trailer Borg. These are the Trailer Borg wide tires, as you can see right there. And then we come over here, and again, we have the Trailer Borg wide tires. So they look perfectly, even turns exactly, exactly like these. I think that's really cool. The only thing is... This guy right here, the area, the, the hub cover, the, the wheel cover right here, that is a different color gray than what we've got here. Yeah, I could care less to be honest with you, but it's just something to be noted just in case. Now, of course, you could use this dolly for many things other than just this. Anything with a fifth wheel will work, which is nice, and it does have a ball hitch. So keep that in mind as well. Anything with a pin hitch, not going to work out, but... You can see right there, works perfectly. It's made for it. Oh, yeah. This thing is really nice. I am digging it super much. Let me know if you're going to be using this mod. Your mod update for all platforms today is going to be the Karcher HDS 918-4 Elm. This is the sprayer that was supposed to be able to be picked up, but we were having an issue picking it up. Also, hit my hand on the desk. That did not feel well. Change log 1.0.1. Fix the weight for transport with the hand and added a new version with the pallet for transport with a pallet for. So let's turn this on. You can see I've got a hand motion there and I've got a hand motion here. If I go over to the dolly, for example, I am not getting the hand motion anywhere. Not at all. And I can even show you in here, super strength is off. When I can turn it on, I can lift that just fine. And when I turn it off, I cannot lift it. However, when I come over here, I can lift this just fine. Can I throw it? Ooh, let's throw it. No. <laughs> uh, can you throw it? Not even close. Uh, it is just a little bit too heavy to be thrown. Just keep that in mind. But you can pick up both of these. Can we throw this one? Nope. They both weigh exactly the same, so the pallet must not weigh anything at all. 
Ooh, we can move it around though, can't we? So this is kind of cool. It's nice to be able to pick this up and use it. Of course, you could use it to spray things off and do what you need to do with it. Ooh, can we get both of these at the same time? We can. Uh, can we though? Okay, I've got one. <laughs> you can pick up multiples. That's pretty cool. Nonetheless, there you go. It is updated and it is good to go. If you're looking for it, it's going to be found in tools and in miscellaneous both of the versions are in here so whether you're looking for a sprayer that you could place down whether you're looking for a sprayer that you can use with the pallet fork i'm not sure why you would want to use it with the pallet fork but here you are and again it just places down like a normal thing so if you wanted like too many of them <laughs> we'll go for it there you go that is your karcher hds 918-4 ilm sprayer moving into new mods for pc and mac only we've got one of them today this is the large pallet warehouse this is a model and it brings six new pallets into play with compound fiend diesel liquid manure digestate water and milk these pallets can be bought in the shop also warehouse for all palletized products is added is a warehouse for large quantities the products can either be stored and retrieved as pallets or stored and retrieved as bulk goods that is pretty neat. Mixed feed big big bag is going to cost you 250 bucks at a thousand liters. The diesel IBC has a capacity of 2,000 liters at a price of three thousand dollars. Fermentation residue IBC the IBC tank capacity of 2,000 liters price going to be 150 bucks. Slurry IBC is capacity 2,000 price 150. Milk 2,000 price 4,000 <laughs> expensive there. And water capacity 2000 price 10 bucks. The pallet warehouse stores all palletized products consists of a construction cost of $100,000 daily upkeep of 10 bucks. Capacity is going to be 10 million liters for bulk and big bags and 100 million liters for the liquids in the IBC tanks. Mod only works in conjunction with Global Company. It is seasons ready, and some of the buildings are courtesy of Lunchbox. And we've got an update to the Herbicides Production Package. This is an update for PC and Mac players only. Change log 1.001. Trigger markers have been added. Buildings and trailers moved to the new categories of Agra Z. Shop images improved. Hotspots have been added, and map marker has been added as well. This pack contains all buildings and IBCs necessary for the production of pesticides. It can now be extracted from silage, acidic acid, and from liquid manure urea. These two production goods are mixed with water to form pesticides. Acidic acid production is from diesel and is a waste product from compost, and it is produced. That is really cool, so you need silage, diesel, and compost there. And then, of course, you have your Europe production, which is produced from diesel and slurry. Production of pesticides produced from water, acidic acids, and Europe pesticides. So you're going to need to do one in order to do the other. You also have the IBC, uh, acidic acid, and the Euro. Uh, it's going to be $4,000 with a capacity of 2,000 liters. You're pendant there. You've got the Josquin Aquatrans 7300 which capacity of 8,000 liters, which is kind of neat. And then you have your modded Lizard MKS-32, but only a capacity of 32,000 liters. So the capacity has not been changed there. The mod only works in conjunction with the global company mod. It is seasons ready and product registration script courtesy of Wingy. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Nice, short, sweet, to the point. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure your notification bells are turned on as well so that you never miss a new mod video or daily farming simulator video here on the channel. Some of you have also been asking me about some missing Missy B mods on the Mod Hub. I have talked to her this morning, and I will have all the information that you need to be informed about what's going on with the missing mods and what is to come in the future from Missy B in Farm Sim News a little bit later on today. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It may have already been out by the time you're watching this, so check the first pinned comment below for a link to that video. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great, wonderful rest of your day. We will see you later. Peace.